Thanks, November. Amazing what you can do with a bit of tape and a lot of ingenuity. See you soon. Over and out. Rangers rescue Val Buchanan in bloody assault. Gippers routed and slain. Would you read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? This place is really coming together. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem's not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah? Well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot. Excellent idea. You'll have more space, and it will keep you away from the malcontents. What? I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. And I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Oh, they're not 
gonna like this. Rangers! Hey, November! Rangers! 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 A moment of your time. Guys, over here! Come say hey when you're free! Rangers, my name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Me and the girls here, we got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. Nah, most of them deserve what they got. We don't have any issue with that. But knowing where they are? Oh, well, that'd help us sleep better at night. Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. Thanks. I wish we had more for you to work with, but the only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. All we know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. Someone at the marshal station might know something. They won't tell us anything. But, you might be luckier. We'll be waiting. No need to notify the civvies, but Frank's been taking his retirement at the Sands Lux Apartments. Never went far from the marshals. Daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush-hush. Most of us didn't know a thing about it, except that it's somewhere outside the city. Old Frank is ornery, but we can make him talk. Guys, over here! <laughs> Fucking refugees. Can't take a step in CS without tripping over a goddamn... The brig isn't a great place for the refugees, but at least it's indoors. Happy to. Take a look. Why can't they go back where they came from? Goddamn freeloaders is what they are.
Kid Victory sounds like a bad apple. Well, I can't say the brig is the nice. What do you need, Rangers? Of course, have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Welcome back, Rangers. What can I do for you? Happy to. Take a look. had any reports of an earthquake, Miss Wong, and, uh, you can't really be calling us every time your cats get jumpy. My cats know what's going on. They know. Yes, Miss Wong, I'm sure they do. Bye now. November, good to see you. Uh, give me one second to make sure the General's still there. General, are you there? I have Team November for you. Thank you, Gonzalez. Put him on. Yes, sir. Um, he's ready for you, Rangers. Have a seat. Ah, Team November. Glad we finally got through. Corporal Gonzalez said I should hear the details from you, so tell me, how's the mission going? Ambush. How many of you are left? What about my brother? Is Riley alive? Hard to hold out hope with news like that, but I won't give up. Let me know the minute you learn something. Now, what about the mission? Gonzalez told me the Patriarchs confirmed the deal, and has provided you with a HQ and supplies. I'm pleased to hear it. What are your thoughts on him? Does he seem like a reliable ally?
Excellent. Glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. All right, then. Report received. Thanks for letting me know the situation on the ground. I've got no additional orders except to wrap things up ASAP. Our position here in Arizona is tenuous at best. Without the manpower we sent with you, we're stretched thin, and the gangs and militias are getting bolder by the day. Nor is the food and water situation improving. If we can get through next winter, next year's crops might be enough to keep us going. But I don't see how we're getting there without the Patriarch's promised supplies. So, no pressure. But at the same time, uh, uh, hang on. I... damn it. Sorry, November. Gotta get back to it. I'll try to reach out again in a few... Uh, looks like we lost the signal, November. I'll let you know if I get it back. I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of disgusting animal do a thing like that? It's terrible. Huh. Why are my pants wet? you, Mac. Or you'd be missing your eyes, too. Get gone, piss for brains. You can't cage my soul, Rangers. You come here to point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy? What do you think? Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? Isaac and his friends have been no trouble. I know they acted remarkably stupid, even by the metric of hot-headed teenagers. But now, they see the error of their ways. Them being here, instead of bleeding out among the rocks at the garden, or frozen on those nightmarish pillories, is what true justice looks like, Rangers. Someday we'll be able to let them out, and they will spend the rest of their lives working to better Colorado. Good luck out there. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Yeah, things are good. I mean, there's always room for improvement, right? But we're doing better than I expected after how things started out. I think we're gonna make it. I'm feeling good. Later. So, the machines at the airport decided you were okay. 
kind of ranger are you? Cartoon in there. When Jeff Eber I was gonna ask about the art. Jerk says Gipper's had it coming. Maybe I'll join the Marshals. You like the product before. You, Quan, this official? Just a friendly chat, Frank. You know, like the old days. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you want? How would I know anything about that? I just drove them out there and dropped them off. That's a state secret. Patriarch's orders. You got a problem with that. Take it up with the marshals. I, yeah, well, that's real sad, but no. Sorry. Daisy hears everything in this town. I like life too much. Ha! Huh. Ask Quan. He knows what would happen if I said anything. Don't worry, Frank. I'm an ex-marshal. Just like you. I don't answer to Daisy no more. Bullshit. I ain't talking. You'd hire a broken down old sack of shit like me. For real. Wow. That's more than I expected. You sure about this, Rangers? Daisy's not gonna like it. Great. I'll get my stuff together, but first, I'll tell you what you want to know. I was told to drive the prisoners to this cave northeast of the city and give them to some tattooed plains motherfucker. Didn't seem the type to be an overseer. And it didn't look like a great place for a work camp. But I don't ask questions, you know? I just do what I'm told. Here. I'll mark the spot on your map. That's all I can do for you, I swear. I'll see you at your HQ, Rangers. 
Just gotta pack up. And thanks again. <laughs>